Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. E.T. Simmers here and we are going to start off the foster family challenge and I am so excited. So welcome to episode one. Let's get to it. have here our foster family challenge. I am really excited. I really, really like the Sims that we are going to be working with or they're going to be fostering <laughs> during this challenge. I'm so, so excited. So here is Jade, who is um, not very good at making scrambled eggs, girl. <laughs> um, she... <laughs> She's struggling, but it's okay. We're all here to learn. Um, so, yeah. So, here is Jade. She is married to Ed. Edward is his long name, but I call him Ed because I think it's cute. And he walked away as I was talking about him. Come back! So, I'm always thinking about Jade. Um, so, this is Ed, and he is of Asian American descent. Um, he... Wow. <laughs> he is of Asian Asian American descent and Ed loves his family. He loves his wife. They met a couple of years ago and they just really, 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 really just fell head over heels for each other. It was love at first glance, love at first sight, what have you. And um <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, honey, these these eggs that you burn and smell good, girl. You know, because he's just he's just so supportive. But um, so yes, um, Ed and Jade met a couple of years ago, and they just fell in love so quickly. And they both had really, really, really high hopes to be able to have a ginormous family. And these hopes and dreams were definitely put on pause. Um, when Jade and Ed got pregnant with their only daughter, Caroline. So this is Caroline. She is so cute. <laughs> so this is Caroline. She is literally their pride and joy. The reason why they smile every day. They absolutely just love her. However, when Jade was pregnant with Caroline, um, there were several complications during the pregnancy and, uh, it is no longer possible for Jade to have any more biological children. It was just a very tumultuous pregnancy and it was a very, very dangerous and stressful delivery. To be honest, Jade is lucky that she still has her life, you know, to be honest. Um, so they uh, love Caroline. However, they are also very, very protective of Caroline. They really want her they, they have really high ambitions for Caroline they really want her to be successful and they want her to be the best little sim that she can be however Jade was raised with very um conservative conservative views so when it comes to Caroline she does not feel like Caroline should be rolling around in the mud she feels like Caroline should be in skirts and she should be curtsying and <laughs> she should um you know be wanting to have tea parties and play with her dollhouse instead of outside running rapid <laughs> and that is just not who Caroline is like Caroline is so energetic and she is so, uh, like, she wants to be out doing everything, exploring, just getting dirty, like, rolling around the mud, having mud fights, <laughs> eating mud pie. <laughs> and that's just who Caroline is, but her mom is just not very accepting of that. So I think that it's going to be very interesting as this LP unfolds to kind of see, you know, if Jade will kind of accept who Caroline is sprouting to be and, um... I think that hopefully by them opening up this or like moving into the new this new chapter of their lives with the fostering if that will kind of open Jade's views to other types of childhoods and other types of 
ways a sim can grow up and develop without being so like you know under the thumb of their mother um and that's just how jade was brought up and so that's what she thinks is best even though i mean to be honest she really didn't enjoy her childhood um because she was always having to like you know be perfect be like you know the perfect little girl you know no disobeying no running around <laughs> like you know um sit at the table like cross your legs like all that jazz so um i think that that will be interesting as like like i said as we develop the story so yeah um and <laughs> ed he is just a little hunk muffin <laughs> Um, he just wants his girls to be happy. So when Jade brought to his attention that there was a foster care agency coming into the Simverse, he was just like, let's do it. Whatever makes you happy. He's like, you know, that means that we could possibly still have our big family and we can also help the lives of these kids as they, you know, move into their forever homes and all that great stuff. So I'm really excited, guys. This is definitely going to be interesting, and I'm just so interested to see where the story takes us. So, okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, um, our simoleons are not very um, high. So, <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of money. Oh, 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 oh. So I almost forgot, guys. Um... <laughs> This is our first foster child. His name is David Pappas. Pappas. Pap. However you pronounce it. But I feel like I have seen this last name before. Like in my other save files. I feel like this is a popular like family or something. Or like they've they've been around in the Sims world for a while. Am I wrong? Am I just remembering it wrong? I feel like I've seen it before, but I just can't put my finger on it. So I guess that I'm just crazy. But yeah, this is David. He has spent his very first night here and um, we absolutely adore him. He is such a little cutie and he is so sociable. Um, and I really think that he is a cute little addition to the household. It's so exciting. Um, Caroline absolutely positively um, adores him. She is really, really happy to have, wow, to have another child in the house. Um, but however, and I almost did forget to mention this as well. So, um, Caroline has been having a couple of issues at school and, um, just with uh, the other neighborhood kids. Um, and I'm not really sure why that is. She just kind of cut, like, even though she's like so cute and so sweet and you can just pinch her little face through the screen um she has she's kind of a bully guys and you know like and I don't use that word lightly like she is kind of a bully she is very very critical of other people and like the other kids her age and she has friends don't get me wrong but you know they are definitely uh not the very you know they're not a very nice crowd of people and um and I wonder if maybe having foster kids in the home will kind of like soften her and make her a little bit sweeter because like, like I said, she's cute as a button, but she just kind of has a mean streak and you know, her and her, uh, you know, little squad, you know, they, um, they uh, might rock and sock them. Some people, <laughs> okay. Um, and it's just, it's just very interesting. And I wonder, you know, if maybe because Jade is kind of hard on her, maybe if that has anything to do with why she is kind of rambunctious and, you know, she doesn't really hang out with the nicest people at school. So maybe we'll get to see that as well. Not sure, but, you know, it's interesting. So yeah. Um, <coughs> okay. I think I've given you all the information that you need, but this is my first Let's Play, so, you know, I might backtrack a little bit, but we'll see. I'm feeling confident that I've given you everything. I'm giving you the keys that we need to be successful. Oh, okay. A missing toy. I was thinking about one of my favorite toys and I can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel, and to feel sad. Keep looking for it or play with a different toy. Girl! Well, this is a hard uh. Well, I mean, I want you to keep looking for it because we don't have a lot of money. So, <laughs> like, if you lost the toy, I'd prefer it be found, girl. But, I mean, I guess at the same time, like, you shouldn't be so fixated on toys. I'll keep looking for it. Oh, okay. Responsibility increased. Oh, God. Emotional <laughs> control decreased. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> we need to work on that. We, we need to work on... Oh, they became good friends. Awesome. We need to work on that. She needs to work on the the, the emotional control. Not, not at decrease. So it is 9.31 and he is... And David is still sleeping. So, okay. I mean, I guess go get food. But I think that we should wake him up. Is she able to wake him up? Yes, she is. So I think that we should wake him up. I thought you went to get food. Oh, so cute. So cute. Oh, no. Go get food. You said you were hungry. Yeah, you need to wake up, little guy. Because it is, like, like about to be in the middle of the day. Oh, he's so cute, guys. I really like him. He's so cute. <laughs> he's so cute. Okay, so I don't exactly... Oh, he has changed his little clothes. He's just gonna go grab his own little food. That's awesome. Oh, hey, this is progressing so much. Um, she just cleaned that plate up without me having to tell her to. That's really awesome. That's so, oh my gosh, little David is so cute. Okay, so, all right, I need to stop, I need to stop. Chill out, chill out, girl. Okay, so, oh, tomorrow's Flower Fest, awesome. That's really cool. I wonder what fun that will bring. We're going to put this away since everyone has grabbed a plate. And, oh, he just went in there and chat with her. That's fine. All right. So when it comes to gathering money, that was really loud. Oh, hey, there's a little celebrity out here. That's, oh, it's Thorn Bailey. Wow. What are you doing over here in Willow Creek? <laughs> are you lost? <laughs> Anywho. I think I missed something. She is going to run around. Oh, goodness. Goodness, girl. You're going to give your mom a heart attack. Um, but okay, if you must, go ahead, I guess. And uh, let's see. So, that noise, that music was a little scary. So, okay. Okay. Um, we definitely need some more simoleons, especially if we're going to keep on taking the foster kids. <laughs> So I'm going to have um, Ed take a shower after he is done using the, the toilet and we're going to have, we are going to have Jade bond with David because he is so cute. Okay. Brighten his day and we can also get to know him a little bit, see what he is about and uh, be funny with him, tell him a story, different things like that, just so we can build our relationship with him. Wow, she is just, she, <laughs> she is definitely a little busybody, guys. Like, that's really cool how she went to go get the toy and then brought it back over to the TV to play with. Never seen that before. Never seen a Sim do that before. Wow. That's actually really cool. Okay. That's actually really cool. Okay, so now she has to use the bathroom. But after Ed is done with, after Ed is done taking a shower, I am going to have him seek out things to sell. That's kind of what I've been doing, like just trying to gather as many simoleons as possible. So I'm going to have him harvest all of those. Um, this tree... Has anyone else seen this tree before? Like, I, like first of all, I had never seen this tree until I moved into this house. What is it? It's so beautiful. Like, I've never, I've never noticed it. I've never seen it before. And I've been playing The Sims for a little bit. So I think that it's so interesting. I'm just going to have him look at it. Sure, why not? Um, and I'm also going to have him look for frogs. Um, anything to get our little family a little bit more money a little bit more simoleons um any way that we possibly can so i'm definitely gonna have him harvest everything around of course it's raining because uh, sims uh, think that springtime is nothing but rain in actuality it's not all rain <laughs> so that's a little annoying but hey what are we gonna Ooh, is this a little garden Really? And we can just grab stuff from here? Shut the front door. Acquired the fishing skill. How'd she do that? 
Oh, she's reading a book about fish. You get it, girl. You expand that not You get it because we need to support our family. You go ahead, Jade. Awesome. Oh, she's bonding with David. What are you doing? Are you telling him a story? I was just telling a goofy story. Oh my gosh, guys. Literally, my heart. Don't. It's gonna, just gonna, it's gonna gonna give me all the feels give me all the feels so oh that's so cute get to know him maybe for rise in his day and then we're gonna have to teach him how to talk and everything he just walking around so like oh wow read social skill level five caroline can get better mootlets from play with teddy bear that seems like a waste of a level. Um, <laughs> what is happening to the ground over here? What is that? <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to just come over to this little garden and we are going to, I mean, might as well since, oh, maybe I can't take, oh, it's the wrong person. I was going to say, maybe I can't take anything that I want. So I'm going to have her harvest these things, have him harvest these things and see if we can't get some more simoleons by selling. This is a cute little area. Oh, frogs. Okay. And is there anything else that I am missing before? I think I already said that. Is there anything else that I'm missing? I guess I didn't tell him to get these snapdragons. Go ahead, grab them. And let's go back over here. It's so cool that she just picked up this fishing book by herself. Is that like something that you're going to be interested in? Do you just want to fish? I'm fine with that. Like we can totally just be an outdoorsy kind of kind of family. She's going to empty the trash. Wow, these Sims are like really responsible. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, I bet he's uncomfortably wet. I mean, I don't understand why you're not using an umbrella. Like, do you, is it because we don't have an umbrella stand? <sighs> now he's uncomfortably wet. And I understand why you're uncomfortably wet because it's raining. Why don't you have an umbrella? Why, why aren't you using an umbrella? Oh, he's, he's so cute. <laughs> but why don't you have an umbrella? This is silly. That's why you're uncomfortably wet. Okay, just go home and then sell all the junk that we grabbed. And I'm going to have Jade come over here and interrupt their lovely conversation. And she is just going to... Uh, um, foster family... Oh, you can get fame points from adopting a kid? That's interesting. Okay, I was wanting to teach him. Okay, flashcards. We'll do basic needs. So I'm going to interrupt their little conversation to do that. And I'm going to have her turn off the TV and she is going to make spring crafts. Um, because that is just what I think that she needs to do. And Ed... Oh, poor Ed. <laughs> he's just, he's just going to be uncomfortable for how much longer? Oh, okay. So he's almost done being uncomfortable. Great. That's great. That's great. He's almost home. So are you going to, are you going to do the little flashcards? Ma'am? Any, let's, can we, can we uh, follow the instructions the first time, please? Is she able to? She should be able to. Can she? No, stop chatting. <laughs> stop chatting with Caroline. I just told you to do something. Follow instructions. <laughs> Why does it seem like it took him 10 years to come home? I feel like he just used the bathroom. Jade, teach the baby flashcards. Jade, what is the problem? <laughs> I don't understand. Teach him his basic needs. Do you just not feel like it, girl? Did you have a hard time hearing me, girl? Like, can we get it together, please? 
and he is dropping it up. Like, what? Why are you using the bathroom so often? Okay. So we're gonna have him sell all of these goodies that he just. He can breed a frog. Hold on. Dude, sit up. Why are they all so active? Oh, because I have two frogs. You can breed frogs. Okay. Does that cost simoleons? Edward has bred a new frog. Where is it? Leaf frog. Okay. Well, that did nothing. An eggplant frog. That's cool. Okay. Well, we're selling them. <laughs> yep. That's 20 simoleons. Uh, we got 30 simoleons from these frogs, which is not very much, but hey, you know, uh, beggars cannot be a choosers, especially since we got them for free. It just took a little bit of our time. Don't know what this is. So sell, sell all of the flowers. Don't know what that is. And we're gonna sell the straw bizzles. Wow, straw bizzles gave us 54 simoleons. That's what I like. Oh, wow, guys. We're over a thousand dollars. Yes, that's so awesome. Because, you know, I've been really wanting to get a... I've been really wanting to get a canvas. Because I, you know, low-key don't know how to really make money without having a job. All right, guys, so I have Ed back outside as if he already was not uncomfortably wet because we had enough civilians to buy a gardening box or a planting box. And so I also bought a little packy of the veggie starter pack and we were able to get a bell pepper and a carrot and we also got mushrooms but I sold those because that was pointless <laughs> because um if I wanted mushrooms I can just go get them from the little this right here is mushrooms so they're wild mushrooms but I mean I can grab them if I want so uh, I thought that was pointless, so I just sold those. And we have a cup. We have a couple of extras of the same two, the carrot and the uh, bell pepper in our inventory. So I guess if we, I'm going to keep them for right now just in case we do want to or like need to do anything like that with them. So all right, guys, I am going to wrap this video up here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I cannot wait to get all of your input for this challenge. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.